And I think one of the biggest myths that we work to combat is this idea of being ahead or behind, especially mm -hmm. that, you know, might, you know, are they behind? Um, right, and right. I always want to make it, right. So I always want to make it clear that learning is not a race. And yes, there are, there are standards that have been, exist out there and they're not completely arbitrary in terms of human development however the most important thing as learners is that we are that we're bringing an awareness of where our growth edge is where our, our learning edge is in different areas we may have we certainly will have stronger areas and more right. challenging areas as far as our development and learning the most important thing is having awareness around those assessing and putting attention on those, so supporting mm -hmm. without getting, without the child feeling lost or overwhelmed, right. but also not, oh, this is too easy. So having that differentiation in the classroom is so important to us and meeting every learner right where they are and not mm -hmm. stigmatizing that they're struggling with, with reading or math or whatever it might be. Right. So that's a, that's a big kind of cultural myth that if they're not reading by age six, <laughs> they're behind we work to engender that trust, you know, yeah. trust the process, trust in, you know, your child's natural development. This is the Agentic Schools podcast, where you will learn about schools from around the world, where children's agency to make decisions about their learning and living is more important than their academic skills. I'm your host, Don Berg.